Hello, Ravens fans, and welcome to another edition of the Spotlight Ravens series. I'm Aaron Schneider, the Sports Information Director at Anderson University, and joining us from the women's tennis team is Ruth Kniece. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Good. To kick the, um, before we get things started, um, tell us a little bit about what um, else you're involved with on campus. Um, I'm in Leona, which is one of the women's social service clubs. Um, and I really enjoy it. It's a really fun way to meet a lot of girls and make some good friends on campus outside of like your sport or other classes and activities that you're involved in. All right. And to um, give a brief introduction, um, Ruth is entering her senior year at the women's tennis team. She, um, she is a two-time ITA scholar athlete, earning it both times she's been eligible. And she was also an academic all-HCAC all recipient last year. So, um, so first, what is your major and minor? Um, I am an elementary education major with a reading minor. All right. Um, who is your inspiration and why? Um, I would have to say my parents are my inspiration just because they're both really hard workers and um, they've done a lot for me and my family. So, yeah, they inspire me every day. Okay. What is your driving force slash motivation? Um, my motivation is just to be a better person every single day and to be better, like the best version of myself that I can be. Okay. Um, what is your favorite aspect about sports and why? Um, my favorite aspect about sports is definitely the camaraderie that you have with your teammates. I think it's really cool, um, especially in tennis, since it's kind of a team sport and an individual sport, mm -hmm. um, how we can still each be on our own on the court, but we have each other to lift each other up and hype each other up and stuff when we're down and always be there for each other. Yeah, and that's it. And I would say in tennis, that's especially true when you're when you're winding closer to the end of the match itself, where you've got some people who finish them who finish them their own matches, and they get and you have their teams lining up watching the um, especially in a in a five four match where you got we got something entering your third set and you got both teams um, watching the thing that's going to decide if it's a 5-4 or 4-5. Yeah, definitely. It can make all the difference having your teammates there to cheer you on, and I love that. Okay. Um, what, um, what is your favorite non-athletic memory at AU? Um, my favorite non-athletic memory at AU would probably be recruitment with Leona because it was a lot of fun and it was just really cool to get to know all of the girls that were joining at the same time as me. Okay, and then what is your favorite athletic memory at AU? Um, my favorite athletic memory is probably um, last year when um, the women's team and the men's team took a trip to St. Louis and we played a couple matches there. And we got to go see the arch and the road trip itself was really fun and it was a good bonding experience for all of us. Throw throw in the fact that you um, picked up um, three wins bet uh, combined between the two teams. Yeah, it was a good day. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, go, go, switching gears for a second, going into the team superlative type questions. First, who on the team is best dressed? I would say Kate Wilson is the best dress. She's always got a, a nice fit on, so. Okay. Um, who on the team is the best dancer? Um, probably, probably either Kate again or Anna Creech. Okay. Who on the team is the Joker, prankster, best sense of humor? Anna Creech. She's always messing around with everybody and making jokes. All right. Um, who on the team is most outgoing? Um, probably again, Anna, <laughs> I'm saying her for all of these, but yeah, she can talk to anybody. So. All right. Um, who on the team is the best trash talker? Anna Creech again. She <laughs> always has something to say. <laughs> all right. And then, um, who on the team is the pregame DJ? Also Anna. She okay. plays the songs in the van to hype us up. And then does your te um, team have a go-to pregame song? Um, yeah, it's actually kind of funny. Anna and I always like to play Boot, Scoot, and Boogie before a match by Brooks and Dunn. <laughs> okay. And then what about for you personally? Do you have one? Um, not really. I normally just listen to music like with the team, so. Okay. 
Um, going into the next segment of questions, first, who is your favorite professional athlete? Um, definitely Serena Williams because she's just done so much for the sport of tennis, but she's also done a lot just for women in sports in general. Um, and her drive and passion for the sport of tennis and just in general really inspire me. All right. And then if you could turn any activity into an Olympic sport, um, what would be one that you would have a good chance of getting a medal in? Um, I would turn napping into an Olympic sport. I'm really good at napping, and I think I could definitely go for the gold in that. So, what's your what's your best one that you can remember in terms of duration? Uh, four or five hours, probably. Okay. Um, what hobby would you get into if time weren't an issue? Um, I would get into surfing, and it would have to be time and location. I'd have to live closer to the ocean, but I took surf lessons one time when I was out in California and it was so much fun. So if I could have the time and location to do that, I definitely would. All right. And then what is your favorite thing to do outside of tennis? Um, outside of tennis, I like to spend time with friends and just hang out with people. Um, I'm a pretty chill person. So just being with friends is always a good time. Okay. Other than tennis, what is your favorite sport? Um, I would say baseball. I really like to go to baseball games with my family. Um, we go to Indianapolis Indians games over the summer a lot when they play, and that's always fun for me. All right. Um, have you traveled outside of the country, and if so, where? I have been to Haiti twice and Ghana, and then I went on a trias trip to Thailand this past um, December and January. All right. What is your favorite kind of pizza? My favorite kind of pizza is Hawaiian pizza. Okay. Um, and then if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? If I could go anywhere in the world, I think I would go to the Bahamas because I've seen pictures of it and I love the ocean and I love like the island feel. So it looks beautiful there. I think it'd be really cool. All right. What is your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show is New Girl because anytime I watch it, it makes me laugh out loud and always puts me in a better mood. Okay. Um, and then what is your favorite season? My favorite season is summer. Um, I love warm weather and I hate cold weather. So anything besides summer, I'm not a fan of. <laughs> okay. Um, what are your favorite hobbies? My favorite hobbies are just... Um, hanging out with friends, like I said earlier, and I like to listen to music and um, watch TV and movies, and I like to exercise and work out, and especially with my teammates. Okay. Um, what is a little known but amazing fact about yourself? Um, a little known but amazing fact about me is probably that I have taken surf lessons. I think that that's pretty cool, um, and I was able to ride a few waves, so I was impressed by that. <laughs> All right, there you go. Um, why did you choose AU? Um, I chose AU because both of my older sisters had gone here, and so my family was like familiar with the school. And my freshman year, we actually did not have the tennis program, so that um, didn't really play a factor in it. Um, but I knew that it was a good school, and I knew my way around and felt comfortable there. So. Okay. Um, what is your favorite class at AU and why? Um, my favorite class at AU was probably educational psychology. I had that my freshman year, and it was just a really good, like, introduction to the education program, and it was a lot of fun, and I felt like I learned a lot. All right, and then um, who was your favorite professor at AU and why? Um, my favorite professor is probably Dr. Trotter because all of his classes are really fun, and he's really funny. And even if um, some of the content is boring, he makes it more interesting and always makes us laugh. Okay. And what are your plans after college? My plans after college are to find a teaching job. Um, I probably want to teach like somewhere kindergarten through second grade. Um, and I don't know. I don't know if I want to stay in Indiana or if I want to move somewhere that would be warm year round, but we'll see. All right. And then finally, what do you want your lasting legacy to be at AU? Um, I would say I just want to be remembered as someone who was always nice to other people and tried to help people and make their day better and just was someone who was um, there for other people when they needed me. 
All right. Well, I think I've covered all the questions I want. Ravens fans, thank you for tuning in. Ruth, thank you, thank you for doing this interview with us. No, thank uh, you for joining me. Mm -hmm. Be sure to follow along with more Spotlight Raven series interviews. We'll have another one coming, so we will see you then.